And here we have our ingredients for a white chocolate cheesecake, digestive biscuits and unsalted butter for the base. We've got three cheeses, cream cheese, mascarpone and ricotta, some condensed milk and white chocolate drops. Digestive biscuits, I'm just cracking these up, crushing them up, cracking them up. Uh, they break apart pretty easily. You can do this in a food processor as well, if you want. And just adding the butter in. And then we're just going to make our base. And you're going to have a lovely collapsible uh, ring that will have a base on it. Hopefully for you. Mm. I'm just going to pop that in. Just give it a little bit of a press down. which works quite well with a dessert spoon. Just making sure that it's even all the way around. And then we're just going to pop that in the fridge. Okay, so I've just got a jug here, I'm going to put the chocolate into. A little bit from the floor. The floor does like white chocolate. And we're just going to bring that over here into this pan. We've got a saucepan, a fry pan, fry pan, fry pan. Uh, with hot water in it. Um, I boil it up to boil, just don't want to have it too hot. Like we don't want that boiling over or anything. And we're just going to melt the chocolate there. We'll give it an occasional stir as it starts melting with a spoon, keeping your spoon out of the um, chocolate. Right. Over here we have our three cheeses in a bowl, ready to be mixed. We've got our ricotta, our mascarpone, and our cream cheese. enough just to mix it all in together um, and break it down a bit and so you can see here the white chocolate is well and truly starting to melt now just going to make sure that all of those bits are gone I would probably take that out and let it just finish on the side because we don't want it getting too hot
So we've heated the condensed milk just to lukewarm temperature. And I'm just going to add it in whilst mixing. So I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> Adding in the chocolate. Going to pop that into a mold. I would then pop a bit of cling film over the top and then that's going to go in your fridge overnight to set. The cheesecake's been refrigerated overnight. We're just going to bring it out of the ring. Whether you've got a collapsible ring or just this kind that doesn't collapse, uh, doesn't matter. We need to heat it up first before you try and remove it. I'm just going to go around the edge with my little gun. And there we have one cheesecake. Portion is a nice hot knife, so it'll just go straight through without making a mess of your cake. I'm not sure if that was the plate or the base that I just sliced through. <laughs> Always give your knife a dry off in between. onto a plate. Just a couple of fresh strawberries on there for a garnish. garnish. <laughs> 